In this example, we want to find the uh, derivative for y squared plus x squared minus 2y minus 4x equals 0. So we're going to use uh, implicit differentiation here. Um, our expression um, is in implicit form. Okay. So okay, we're going to go ahead and take the derivative. So we're going to take the derivative of each term. So we have the derivative with respect to x of y squared plus the derivative with respect to x of x squared okay, plus the derivative of minus 2y plus the derivative of minus 4x. And then we take the derivative of 0. Okay, so we're going to take, apply, we're going to take the derivative of each term and apply implicit differentiation. Okay, so first one we have uh, 2y, so we're going to, oh, sorry, we have y squared, so we're going to apply the derivative here. So we're going to, so we need to keep in mind of the chain rule and that we're, we're, we're taking the derivative with respect to x. Okay, so we're going to get 2y times dy dx, okay, plus 2x, okay, and then we have minus 2, okay, so the derivative of 2y is just 2, and then the minus sign is a constant, and then we need to put dy dx here because we're taking the derivative with respect to x, okay, and then derivative of minus 4x with respect to x is going to be minus 4, and then we have the derivative of 0, which is 0. Okay, so, so from here, uh, we need to solve for dy dx, okay? Okay, so we're going to put all the terms with, uh, without dy dx on the other side, okay? Okay, so we're going to take 2x and then this minus 4 we're going to put on the other side. Of the equation. So we're going to have 2y times dy dx minus 2 times dy dx equals to 4 minus 2x. So from here we can go ahead and factor out dy dx. So we're going to have 2y minus 2 equals to 4 minus 2x. Okay. Okay, so we can go ahead and divide both sides by 2y minus 2 so that we can solve for dy dx. Okay, and we can go ahead and simplify this a little more. Uh, we can factor out a 2 from the uh, numerator and denominator. So we're going to have 2 times 2 minus x all divided by 2 times y minus 1. So that's going to give us 1. Okay, so we have 2 minus x all divided by y minus 1. Okay, so that is, uh, that is our result. Okay, so that is the derivative of our implicit expression here.